Sophie was your typical, very bouncy toddler, lots of energy. And very gradually, she kind of slid into a funk. Her personality changed, her effect changed. She became less um, happy. I was diagnosed at the end of my fifth grade year. We were worried um, I wasn't growing. Um, I was the smallest kid in my class. We wondered if it was ADHD, whether it's just GI problems. We just didn't know. When Daniel was a baby, we had a lot of trouble feeding him. We tried a lot of different formulas. He couldn't keep it down. He was projectile vomiting. A lot of people said, you're just stressed or you have too much on your plate. And I'm in middle school and I also love to work, so that didn't really click with me. And it kind of felt like people thought I was crazy. I was 26 years old and I gained 10, 15 pounds mysteriously. At first I was confused, like why was this happening to me? But um, as I got older, I figured like this is just how it is. This is how every five-year-old like lives their life. They just all go through this joint pain and all these symptoms. Like I just thought it was normal. I did a lot of research online and I found Beyond Celiac, which was really informative. I saw all the symptoms and I said, oh my goodness, that's my kid. Two out of three have celiac disease, one with symptoms and one without. But once they both went gluten-free, Elle noticed that she felt a lot better. Yeah. I have never met a more supportive community than Beyond Celiac. And Beyond Celiac, it makes me feel like I'm not like the only person who's alone and who, at, who has celiac. It makes me feel like there are a bunch of other kids who have celiac. I think Beyond Celiac pushes boundaries with awareness and now with research. Celiac disease is not entirely understood and the community is still struggling with having this disease taken seriously. So if Beyond Celiac could identify the uh, symptoms, the natural course of the disease, and then encourage patients to participate and volunteer in clinical trials. That would maybe shape five, ten years of the normal course of the development of drugs for celiac disease. Finding a cure for celiac disease would just be awesome. The ultimate goal of this field is to prevent celiac altogether.